Okay, welcome back to the channel. Here we are inside Matrix Gold. If you're a first time watcher, thanks for watching. I hope you find something new and interesting. If you're a return visitor, uh, thanks for continuing to give me support. Really appreciate it. Hit that like, subscribe if you like what you see, and uh, leave me a comment. Uh, today we're going to talk about a little bit about the hot hatch and jow jolly. <coughs> uh, first, we're going to grab a surface to, to use. So we'll just grab this surface. I'll take it, hold down Alt, and drag it over to make another one. Oh, well, hold down Alt, and drag it over to make another one. And then I'm just going to take this one here and uh, rebuild it for a second. And hit Enter. I'll just take that. And then I'll turn on my points, and then I'll make it a uh, bowed surface there. Okay, so and I'll hit escape to get those points, and then we'll get our surfaces out here. Oh, did, it, did it to both of them. We'll just delete that one, and we'll just draw another one real quick. Okay, so we have one flat, and we have one uh, bowed. Okay, uh, the thing with hatch, if you type in hatch, uh, it'll ask you to select the boundary. And if you select the four sides of the item that you want and hit enter, it'll the hatch uh, patterns will pop up, and you can choose which hatch pattern you want. Uh, not a lot in there. You can download more, uh, but I'll just take that one. Uh, it's a three. We'll bump it up to maybe a four. Yeah, we'll bump it back down, and we'll just go ahead and accept that. Uh, this is for the demonstration anyway. I'm going to take this uh, surface here and hide it real quick and then take my pattern and uh, turn it to yellow so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so we have that. Uh, now here all you have to do is really uh, there's a thing with hatch. Like if I wanted to take this surface and I wanted to split it with my yellow it will not let me select my yellow. Uh, so you, you, you have to uh, take your pattern, your hatch pattern, and explode it. Okay, this should be exploded, yeah. So now you're able to use, use, the, use the objects to, uh, I'm going to get rid of these, uh, to uh, cut out of your surface, right? So if I take my surface and I split it with my yellow, and hit enter. Uh, I can take all that, those pieces, and delete them, and I have an item that I can make into a solid for a pattern for something. Okay, but if I did the same thing over here, so if I take it's on a curved surface, and I type in hatch, and I, it wants me to select my boundaries, so I select my four corners, and I hit enter. Puts my, I'll just go ahead and take that exact same pattern. But where my pattern is flat against the grid. So there's a workaround uh, you can do. Uh, we'll just take that pattern. First we'll dra drag it up. And then we'll explode it. Okay, it's exploded. And then I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of some of these pieces that I know aren't going to really do anything for me. Okay, so I have those, and now what I can do is, let me change those to yellow real quick. Uh, let me change those to yellow, not so quick. <laughs> uh, now what I can do is I can take those, that pattern, right, and kind of drag it down close to the surface, it doesn't have to be on. Uh, go to uh, my curves menu, go all the way down here to end from object and project. Okay, select surface, so that would be this surface, and hit enter, and now I'm able to uh, go ahead and do the cutout uh, on that. So if I take, uh, if I take this surface and I split with my yellow and hit enter, and then I just take all those pieces that I cut out and delete them, and now I can through down and I have a solid surface I can do it with and uh, to make a pattern okay so you have a couple different ways there you can do with the hatch right but let's look at jolly now let's get rid of those 
get rid of them. Let's go ahead and draw one more out here, uh, planar curve. We'll just draw one. And then I'll do that rebuild again, just so I can get a, a surface that uh, has a uh, little shape to it. So I'll pull that up and we'll hit enter and then there. Okay. So if you want, there's, you know, if you go to Jolly, right, it's in your curves menu and Jolly. Uh, select my curve and then I go to patterns you have quite a few patterns there uh, but you can add more into your library and that's kinda what I'm gonna show today uh, so let's back out of that let's close that out real quick and if I go to uh, if I go to uh, a couple websites CAD blocks dog uh, there are some uh, hatch files that you can download uh, in here uh, different kinds there's brick so you have some brick types uh, two different levels so there's there's a pretty cool part let's just take this one uh, hit brick 13 okay so we'll, we'll take that one and it'll download so I'll open up the file uh, kind of lower it a little bit I need to minimize this minimize this okay so I'm just going to take this drag it off right so I'm going to go in here and type uh, uh, brick, B-R-I-C-K, uh, and hit enter. Okay, and right away I'm just going to go to my matrix gold file, and I'm going to go to libraries, double click, and I'm going to go to pattern and double click, and I'm just going to take that brick file and drag it in. Okay, and now I'm going to go back to matrix, click on that, go to my jolly, go to patterns, go to the brick that I just imported where's it at brick and then hit select close that out and then there's my brick pattern and now I can manipulate it however I want and then uh, I want to make sure I have a curved surface so I don't want it rigid I'd like it to flow a little bit uh, smoother and then I'll just hit enter and now I can take that uh, jolly and go to my solids and uh, pipe it or whatever you want to do with it and then hit enter and just get rid of that surface and now I have a, a really unusual strange uh, surface for something uh, so that's how you import file there's a couple uh, let's just back out of this real quick okay uh, a couple files. This is one, uh, CAD Blocks Dog, and another one is uh, Free AutoCAD Stone Hatch or CADHatch.com. Uh, and there's quite a few in here that are, are pretty decent that you can go through and look at. Uh, you just kind of scroll through, uh, find one that you like. And I downloaded that one. Uh, but there, there's several uh, Hatch Pattern Generator, Free Downloads. So they have all these that you can kind of go through and take a look. Gravel hatch, there's some in here. Uh, so you can just kind of take a look at some of those. If you like them, you can uh, download them and import them in. So uh, let's see. I just downloaded that one. So let's go back to it. Uh, downloads. And I'll minimize this one more time just to show you. And I'll drag it out. And then I'll open the file up. And I want the PAT file, not the text file, the PAT file. So I'm going to drag that PAT file out. And then I'm going to go to my matrix gold, go to the library, go to pattern. And let's rename this one real quick, uh, just 01. And hit enter. And now let's take that pattern and we'll drag it into our patterns file. And we'll close those out, go back to and click on our item go to our curves go to our jolly uh, is our surface already yep okay so click on our pattern go to our 01 hit select and there's our pattern and you can do scaling however you want and of course down here and uh, enter 
and you have your pattern on too. So that's uh, there's some websites out there you can kind of get some different patterns if you want to. This one you can take and split with your yellow and hit A and then take all these little pieces out maybe. So if I take this and hide it, I can just go ahead and take all that and delete it, bring back my surface and then draw it down and I have a closed surface that I can work with. Uh, so hope that helps. If you find the video interesting and useful, please uh, hit that subscribe button. Really need those uh, subscriptions. <laughs> and uh, tap on that like button and uh, leave a comment. Type a comment below. Uh, so thank you for watching. Good designing. Have a great day.